quick. Graph y equals 1 over the opposite of x by hand two different ways. Decide if the reciprocal function is even, odd, or neither. You will need graph paper or download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during the video. First way is with the reciprocal dance. Normally the center of the hyperbola is going to be at the origin. The opposite side does not affect that center point. So we'll go ahead and plot that. Through the center, we'll draw the asymptotes with dotted lines. First the x-axis, the line y equals zero, and the y-axis, the line x equals zero. Those are our asymptotes or boundary lines. From the center point, we're gonna plot six key points. Normally we go right one, up one, but because of the opposite of that one, we're gonna to have to go down one. Normally we would go right two and up a half, but because of the negative sign, we're going down a half. And right a half up two normally, but right half down two because of that opposite sign. In the second quadrant, left one, up one, normally it would be left one, down one, but again, because of the, the opposite of negative one is positive one. Left two up a half, the opposite of negative two is positive two, and the reciprocal of that is a half. And left a half up two, the opposite of negative a half is positive a half, and reciprocal of that is two. We'll connect the points into, with two branches of a hyperbola. So there's our graph. Comparing that to the parent function, you can see that those two functions are not the same, so this function is not even. If we look at y equals the opposite of f of x, which is negative one over x, you can see that f of opposite of x and the opposite of f of x are identical, and that means that the one over x function is an odd function. Second way, using a table, these are our six values that we usually like to plot. So one over the opposite of x, we'll use the same x values. When x is two, one over the opposite of two is negative two, one over negative two, so that's negative a half, so two comma negative a half. One over the opposite of one is negative one. One over the opposite of a half is negative two. 1 over the opposite of a negative a half would be 1 over a half, which is positive 2. When x is negative 1, 1 over the opposite of that negative 1 is positive 1. And when x is negative 2, 1 over the opposite of negative 2, it leaves you with 1 half. So negative 2 comma 1 half. Draw the asymptotes, the boundary lines for the curve, and connect the points. Compare that to the parent function, you can see that those are not equal. Bring in y equals the opposite of f of x, and you can see that those two are identical, the green and the brown ones are identical, and that makes the reciprocal function an odd function. 